One of these days, daughter, you'll be grown. Remember what I've told you. And pass it on. Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ducks Unlimited TV. I'm Ashley Ward. Hunting is a tradition in my family. My dad was instrumental in involving me in that tradition, teaching me that hunting is a treasured experience. Life lessons were learned and it gave us a chance to spend more time together. On this episode, we share a blind in Arkansas with our longtime friends and hunting partners, another father-daughter duo, Lauren and David Stanley. We reminisce about Hunt's past and look forward to more adventures in the future. All next on DUTV. People ask me all the time, you know, Ashley, when did you start hunting or when did you really, you know, realize your love? I always say, gosh, I don't remember not hunting. Well, the Ward family consists of my wife, Karen, and my daughter, Ashley. Only child. Son and daughter, let's, let's just go ahead and clarify that now. She, she's been the son I haven't had, and the daughter I wanted. The first hunt I ever took Ashley on was a September dove hunt, 1990. She was born June, 1990, and I had come in from working around the, the house and Karen says, Mom and I are going shopping, you're going to babysit this afternoon. No problem. So I loaded up the little car seat, I loaded up the little carrier, loaded up the dog, I loaded up all the equipment and we went to the dove field in Wiggins, Mississippi. We hunted all afternoon. The dog sat and babysitted Ashley. I had her far enough away that the gun wasn't bothering her and had her covered up with a little camo mosquito screen. And we spent the afternoon together in the dove field. And that was officially her first hunt. When we got home, that was before the cell phone craze and nobody knew where Ashley and I was at. And when I walked in the back door of the house, there sat the grandparents and my wife, and all of them were pretty hot. I've been incredibly in awe of, of wing shooting since a little girl. Dove hunting sent her to competitive shooting because buying shells and feeding her shotgun, because she never was shy about pulling the trigger. That led to also shooting in the sporting clay competition, the NSCA competition. So she's, she's been on both sides of 4-H plus competitive shooting. And she took the shotgun discipline and took ownership of that and became uh, one of two girls on the Waynesboro, Mississippi team to go to Nebraska to the Nationals. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to watch the two girls go into the field and they can hold their own with pretty much any man in the, in the blind or in the dove field or in a deer stand. Now when we go to the dove field, I go in the opposite direction that she goes. I like to enjoy the afternoon and I like to shoot the birds and not watch them fall before they get to me. Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. 
Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited, Browning Firearms, the best there is, and by Ducks Unlimited's Ducks Expo at Texas Motor Speedway, celebrating everything outdoors. He had the lens on. Well, I know I've got the lens cover on. I can love you better than that. I know how to make you together. <laughs> <laughs> how do you you've been around them this weekend how do you how do you describe their personality what would you what word would you use he's a big pig yep yep you could be a big pig too <laughs> being out the out blah, blah, blah. you better be ready to laugh no <laughs> i still like to watch the jungle book on the blue bear mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, he's <laughs> scratching his back on the tree. Uh, you better be ready to be entertained. That has never changed from the fourth grade. Just a, just a positive attitude. They just light up the room. They're, they're joy to be around. Maybe talk about the life lessons that, you know, you talked to me and Lauren about them. Oh no, I'm not going there. No, I, I refuse to go. No, I refuse to go there because that's going to be worse than the letter. Oh no! Oh no! I, you just don't understand those questions that I was asked in the. <laughs> it's coming. When I look back on Ashley and I's hunting, especially you know, in junior high, high school, it was. It just always was funny to me, you know, the week before, you know, it wasn't texting. We were passing notes to each other and it was just like, hey, what are you going to wear with your Ducks Unlimited shirt? Are you going to do a pink bow or a camo bow? Dad, what's one of your, like, favorite funniest stories from me and Lauren? And we hit the turn row and on the intersecting pass and y'all were in the front seat. Oh my God, it's the boys from Fighting Bow. And they <laughs> dove, how both of them at the same time went to the back seat of that truck. Hair was flipping and twisting and makeup was flying. <laughs> yes, hairspray, lip gloss. And we only had about 200 yards to meet, pass in the middle of the road. And they <laughs> popped up rolling back windows down and they looked like they were beauty shop perfect. <laughs> but I, I will tell you this, the day, the day we were we were up there deer hunting, you and Lauren, and I'd taken y'all up on the north end, and they decided to go to Crawdads that night to eat, and y'all were muddy and bloody and didn't have time to go change clothes. This is where Ashley and Lauren kind of separated from, from the other girls. You know, we loved to cheer, and whenever we were on the field, that was our main focus. After Friday night, us cheering at a football game, we still had our cheer uniforms on, and we, you know, got in a truck with either one of our dads, and we were headed up to the Delta. That almost made Friday night lights even better. We went from cheerleading uniform to throwing on a pair of waders the next morning and rolling with it, and that's kind of been our friendship throughout the years. It didn't matter to them, they were in camo, knee boots, and mud. They were as proud to be in their, their camouflage and hunting attire as they were to be you know, dressed going to dinner. Ducks Unlimited has long been committed to youth involvement in conservation. Our Green Wing program allows children 11 and under to become a part of the DU family. Green Wing members number over 45,000 and that number grows every year. Green Wings are introduced and encouraged to participate in the restoration, conservation, and management of wetlands and other habitats. The DU Varsity program focuses on high school aged volunteers and helping them establish chapters in their high schools. Leadership and networking opportunities are program benefits along with conservation education. And we have 61 of these around the country today. Ducks University is for the college crowd. At more than 100 colleges and universities across America, young people are embracing Ducks Unlimited's mission by creating and building chapters, providing significant support for wetlands management. 
Many of these students end up joining locally established chapters in their communities upon graduation and continue their volunteer commitment to DU and wetlands conservation. This is the future of DU, and we're in good hands with these outstanding young people. You can find out more about DU's youth programs and how you can help at ducks.org. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Browning Ammunition. The best there is. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. And Plano Synergy and Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. So they're not filming right this minute. No, they no. are. I mean, they're, they're going to cut all this that we're right. just talking. It's literally going to be like little segments. Oh, we got to start. We got to take two on that one. Yeah, we're. You got we? one of them little things? <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I know. Who would have thought we would be here? We were just little girls hunting together. I saw five deer where I went, and I saw two babies in three days. And the lady behind the camera is Ashley Ward, and she's shoots a 7 millimeter 08 and she has killed two does this year. It's me. Thank you. Hey. And Daddy, what kind of gun do you shoot? A 30 out 6. Okay, and that's Jim Ward, my daddy. I'm so proud of him. I don't know if he even realizes it, but he'll throw like a life lesson out in there and it's just something that you can take with you outside of hunting. Just one I can think about is you know, we went fishing and I had this really great rod and reel. I just bought it for her. I said, this is your special reel. And I handed it to her and it had a hard tail or something on it for a live bait. I handed it and I said, now hang on. Because when an amberjack hits it, you better hang on. It didn't come out of my mouth good. <laughs> and she just looked at me and started bawling. <laughs> what I love about it is he took that moment that could have been, you know, a negative situation and made it positive. And, you said, um, well, all we can do now is laugh about it and that's have a good true. story to tell. And I love that because that's something that I've been able to take with me in life. Take this moment and let's make it positive and laugh. It was a pretty real too. <laughs> <laughs> You've always made hunting fun and that's what I've always loved about that is it's always been enjoyable. Right. Just don't take them and make it so it's miserable on the days that uh, that you really shouldn't be there. The, uh, get up, and go enjoy your your time with them. If, if it's 30 minutes or 40 minutes, or and if if they're hungry or want to get out, you break the day and go and, and let it be a enjoyment for them. You know, growing up, he always made me get my things organized, and you know, he always made me pack my own blind bag and you know get my waiters ready. And if I didn't have anything, if I forgot my hot hands, hey, I forgot them. But also, the other advantage was, if I got too miserable, he came back. Because he didn't want to make it not fun for me. Honestly, everybody said, oh, that's wonderful, she's, she's doing the outdoors and going with you. But, when she gets to junior high and the boys, that will come to an end, and we will no longer have the father-daughter relationship. You would have gone off on that direction. And 28 years later, She's now taking me on a hunt. For all of the years that I took care of her, now she's taking me. So, that's pretty special. That's been the hardest one for me to get out. I've been practicing it since Wednesday. <laughs> Definitely testing the blood pressure, I'll promise you that. <laughs> Whew. On this hunt here in Arkansas with Ashley and her father, it's a great opportunity to take the time um, to learn how to duck call, teach someone how to duck call. You know, I grew up uh, taking my, my children hunting, their, their friends hunting, and had a lot of novice hunters and callers in the blind. And I've always tried to take opportunity to teach them how to blow calls. You know, being a part of the hunt is probably the most important part uh, of waterfowl hunting. It's very camaraderie through three, four, five, ten people in the duck blind, 
It's a very social sport. But getting a young hunter or a novice hunter involved in the, in the whole duck hunting aspect is really, really important. Now, the two calls that I'd recommend getting them started with is number one, I'd get an easy blowing double reed duck call, just like this Zinc ATM. Soft blowing, not much air pressure, very hard to squeal, and very hard to stick as well. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about this call. The basis of any duck calling would be the simple quack. Okay, you teach the hunter, uh, or the young caller, to do the basic quack, and then you string it together. You do three to five quacks together. Speed that up. A little faster. A little faster yet. So use that time in a duck blind to your advantage. The other thing to get them started on is just a simple drake whistle, like this one right here. Now here, he just makes a great mallard dweeb. Very simple to, to teach a young hunter. And they can be involved doing this, working the dog, and be a big part of the hunt. Hope this helps, and remember, call them close. Duck Talk with Fred Zink, powered by Plano Synergy and Zink Calls, a champion in every call. DUTV is brought to you by Native Nurseries, hand-selected, hand-grown plants for wildlife. Higdon Outdoors, quality, customer service, innovation. That's Higdon. Biologic, scientifically proven wildlife products. Closed captioning for Ducks Unlimited Television is brought to you by Mossy Oak Bottomland, the official timber pattern of Ducks Unlimited. There are several training tips to get multiple dogs to recover multiple birds simultaneously on water. We call it double dog. Let's take a look. This scenario has three birds on the water and three dogs available. Each dog must multitask and stay focused on their bird. There's no shopping among birds. Once the dog goes out, he must make a pick clean and come straight back. There's no scuffling between dogs. Dogs stay on their intended bird and ignore the other dogs. One of the keys is to release the dog only on his name, otherwise the dog remains steady. Don't send the second or the third dog until the former dog remains locked on his bird. Once he makes the pick and is returning, you can send the second dog, and so on. Once your dog has recovered a bird and returning, you must remain quiet or you will interfere with other dogs. Double dog is great for rapid game recovery and it's good for group work training as well. Give it a try. Duck Dog with Mike Stewart is presented by Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. The salmon is not just about hunting, it's about the relationships between a father and a daughter. What it means to be in a family that has a strong faith in God, teaching the values of the outdoors and our part in the significance of the land and its importance to the wildlife we enjoy hunting and how it connects to the generations. Take a child into the outdoors also builds a solid base for many of the life lessons to come. My dad, he's such a moment person as well. And I totally get that from him. And I'm so glad that I do. Every hunt that we went on had a lesson. He always made me stop and look at a sunrise. We were never in a hurry. The importance of the conservation is to protect what we have now and protect it for the future, for the generations of children coming on so they can enjoy what we grew up enjoying. If we can't or we don't do that, then we can't pass it on. As I've always told you, the hunt is to enjoy the trip, enjoy the fellowship, enjoy the hunt. Pulling the trigger has always been the bonus. To sum it up, 
That's easy. Pass it on. Parents are often our best teachers. My dad and Lauren's dad invested time in their little girls because they saw a passion for the outdoors. And to this day, that affection continues. They showed us how hunting and conservation work hand in hand. One is no good without the other. Thank you dads for never leaving us behind and always believing that we could do and be anything we want. A big thanks to Bow Whoop Hunting Club for inviting me and my family to share this special time. And don't forget to take kids hunting. It's our duty to ensure there is a next generation to enjoy and perpetuate the heritage of hunting and hunting's pivotal role in wildlife conservation. See you next time on Ducks Unlimited TV.